Dante Pettis. We, I've really been hard on Dante Pettis since his rookie year. And last year, I felt like I was proven right. He had a tough time and everyone piled on. And I don't like piling on a guy. I like kicking guys when they're up, not when they're down. So he's been down real bad. And I don't really, I stopped cr- critiquing him. And I'm at the point where I'm rooting for him. He's a young man whose career is on the brink of falling apart. And I'd like to see him get it together. And yesterday, so far in training camp, he's been fantastic too. Really. I mean, he was the best player on the field. It looked like yesterday, last year, it felt like the Niners put too much pressure on him and said, you're a number one wide receiver. You're going to be good. And he was like, Oh, really? And it didn't work out. They were giving him five catch, five targets a day. And he was dropping a bunch this year. They pretty much put him on the bottom of the depth chart. They drafted a wide receiver in the first round last year. They drafted a wide receiver in the second round the year before that and gave him no expectations. And now he's competing and he might just win a starting job by week one. I think that's a great story. Um, everyone wrote him off, makes fun of him about the way he looks and 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 the way he kind of packed it in last year when things went bad. But he's competing this year, and it seems like he's grown up and realizes what's at stake and what he needs to do to succeed. It's great to see. Has the team made him available? Not yet. Not yet. So I guess they want to see him do it a few more times before they start building the hype up, which is fair. I don't think they – they need to be putting him in front of the media. I think the message they should tell to Dante is you haven't accomplished anything. You're one step off this team. Uh, do it again. Do it again. And he can. That's the cool thing. He can really do it. Iggy, if they were to put him uh, with the media, what question would you ask him? What's different about this year than last year? That's the question. What's different about this year than last year? Yeah. Okay, I'll be Dante. Well, I just worked harder in the offseason. Uh, you know, I'm just trying harder. You know, I just, I just want to do my role on the team. So does that mean you didn't work hard enough last year? Is that why w- what last year was about? Is just a, you didn't work hard enough? Or, or is there um, something else that, that, that has come together this year? I don't know why you have to get defensive uh, and, and, and it's put me on, you know, like that. Say, I, I always work hard. I don't know why you'd have to say a thing like that. Well, do you think you played well last year? Uh, no, I don't. So, well, then what's different this year? Uh, <laughs> I, he wouldn't do that. He's not difficult like that. You know, the, um, the That's generation Z do it. Yeah. See, I, would do, Iggy, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get hard with him. I would say, um, you're really playing well this year. I understand you always try hard, but you know, Dante, something seems maybe altered, maybe like much more mature, more self-confident. Are you more self-confident? I, I wouldn't start grilling him like, uh, <laughs> like Perry Mason. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the answer. Give me the answer, God damn it! You have even made me want to cry. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, it's really cool to see the kid. He's not even he's the, the guy grow up. It felt like a growing up moment for Dante Pettis yesterday. He was working everyone he went across from, and I didn't think he had it in him anymore. I thought he was down on himself. So I was, I don't know. I was inspired. Now said now that you've said all these nice things about him, it would be nice if you could meet him in the locker room and and say, hey, you know, I uh, I'm really impressed. But you don't have the chance. So he no. probably still hates your guts. I think he probably still hates my guts. 